Hey guys, thank you for watching. For this video, I want to talk about my keto breakfast that I get at McDonald's. Now, I've talked about this before on some of my vlogs, but I felt like I needed to do a standalone video because, uh, you know, people tend to struggle when they go on keto on finding food outside of the house. Uh, everybody kind of, you know, struggles with making their own food, especially if they're not really uh, cooks. Normally, when I buy breakfast at McDonald's, it's normally just an impulse. I, I go there to get the coffee, but honestly, I don't really eat breakfast that often. Often. But this morning I went to McDonald's uh, because I was craving coffee and I decided to get the breakfast just, just so I can show you guys. I start out with the coffee because it's gonna come up a lot. I normally get it every time. It's just uh, an iced coffee. But the reason I go to McDonald's is because uh, they basically have three, uh, four elements. Let's say four, they have the ice, obviously. They have the coffee, the cream, and the sugar. Now with them, you can actually separate all four of them. Right now I have regular ice uh, because I plan to kind of milk this one. Yeah, I don't plan to drink this uh, right away, and so it'll keep it cooler. Normally, if I know that I'm gonna finish the whole thing fast, just for, let's say for a lunch meal or something, uh, then I order with half ice, and that way it gives me more coffee. Uh, I don't have to finish it and end up with half a cup of, of ice. And so that's one thing that I do. Uh, obviously, I always tell them no liquid sugar, I've been to Burger King and I've been to Jack in a Box and they don't you can't separate it like that. So in Burger King it comes pre-mixed so it, it has a sugar and you can get it out of it. Uh, with uh, Jack in a Box you can get no sugar but then uh, the, they don't add the cream. They just give you a bunch of packages of cream and then uh, it almost feels uncomfortable asking for more because the ones that they give you really aren't enough. And so McDonald's so far has been the most consistent one on flavor and also being able to just uh, divide all four elements, ice, coffee, cream, sugar. Taste wise, it's actually really good. I wasn't really a big coffee drinker before I started keto, but ever since I kind of started with the Bulletproof coffee, but it just felt like too much effort because you have to blend the MCT oil, otherwise it just kind of gathers up. So then I stopped doing the Bulletproof coffee and I just I kept it to like coffee and cream. Yeah, so this is uh, definitely a go-to. And now for the breakfast, since I started keto, I haven't really tried breakfast at McDonald's in another place other than Hawaii. I've been here for 20 years, so uh, it's pretty much all I know. But it seems like this is the only offered in Hawaii. This is called the deluxe breakfast. So basically what it consists of is uh, four elements, but I'll explain why there's only three on here. So it has the Portuguese sausage, which is really popular here in Hawaii. Spam, which is actually famous here in Hawaii. And so what happens is you have rice and then scrambled eggs, but obviously rice is not keto. So I have them take away the rice and add a double egg. They don't charge extra or anything, they just replace it. Uh, this time I got lucky and they gave me three uh, things of uh, scrambled eggs. So a lot is actually extra heavy now. Now this breakfast is obviously keto friendly. The only downside is that you have a lot of protein. And so if you're not really going to the gym, all this protein might not be uh, good for you. Uh, but if you're you know, exercising and going to the gym, then it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But in any case, another thing that you can do, let's say you're being real strict on keto, then you can probably carry like your own uh, either butter or uh, uh, the MCT oil or something you can put on there to kind of give it a little bit more fat. Even mayonnaise, I like mayonnaise, some people hate mayonnaise, or even uh, some avocados or some uh, guacamole, something like that, so just to add extra fat to it. But besides that, you know, it's actually pretty good. Uh, some people don't like the scrambled eggs from McDonald's because I think they use carton uh, egg, egg uh, yolks or whatever they're called. In the beginning, I wasn't a big fan because uh, it was still look kind of wet and slimy, uh, but I kind of gotten used to it. Uh, it's not, these aren't as bad. Uh, so they're actually not that watery. They're really good. The texture is really nice, soft. It's almost like buttery. Now, now one thing that I wanted to do was uh, find out the nutritional values, but I don't really have time right now. So uh, once I finish, uh, I gotta go to work real quick. So once I finish that, then I'll probably try to do some research. And if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. This is my go-to McDonald's breakfast. Let me know if they sell this where you're from. Let me know what kind of options they have, if they're real flexible about adjusting uh, the combination of it, and also the price. For this one right here, the coffee was $2.89, and the uh, local deluxe platter is 
Okay, so it's on the name. It says local deluxe platter. That's another reason why I think it's probably only here in Hawaii. Let me know how much this would cost you if they offer it where you're from uh, in the comment section below. And please subscribe to this channel. I got a lunch coming up later on today, so I'll probably do another video. I don't know if I'll release it on the same day, uh, but uh, look, look out for that. And thank you for watching. Bye.